Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. Uniform Secure Moshi, Angular and Tangential Velocity, Part 2. In this video, I will give you an example to see how to calculate angular velocity and the tangential velocity, what is the relation between them. For example, there is a pulley you connect it with a bell. So, and we given this one is pulley A, this is pulley B. Okay? The radius of the big pulley is 10 centimeters. You say the pulley given RA is 10 centimeters. RB is 5 centimeters. And RA, the number of revolution the NA is given is 60 revolution per minute. So, 60, 60 revolution per minute. Looking for, find the revolution of pulley B. How fast the pulley be rotated. And also we're looking for the other point C, which is what is the tangential velocity of C. And the point C is at 4 centimeter from the center. So we can write this is RC, RC equals 4 centimeters. So first of all, let's solve uh, the number of revolution of B pulley. So as we know, this is pulley, these two, one is bigger, one is smaller, they uh, connected with a belt. So that situation we can see when the pulley A is rotate, it de deliver the belt to the pulley B, right? So for example, the pulley A is turned this way, and the pulley B is turned this way. And obviously, because the, this pulley A is the large radius, and there's a small radius, that's why we can predict the pulley B will rotate faster than the pulley A because A rotated once, they deliver longer the circumference to pulley B. So that's why rotated faster. But one thing is we consider the tangential velocity on the circle, both circle. The relation is if you have one meter or belt deliver from the A, also they rotate, deliver the one meter to, to the belt B, to the pulley B, right? Because the belt always tied with two pulleys. That's why it give us the idea is, in this situation we know the V, the VA equals VB. Any point, on the pulley A, the tangential velocity equals pulley B. Because, as I said, as the pulley rotate, the belt deliver the same length from pulley A to pulley B. So that's why the VA equals VB. From this information, we can say, what is VA related to the number of turns? Because you're given NA equals 60 revolution per minute. Because we have V equals omega times R. 
this is in part A, we got this formula. And what is omega related to number of turns? Because one revolution equal two pi. That's why we have another formula say omega equal two pi times n. n is the number of revolution. So each one revolution is two pi. That's why the angular velocity in reds per second is two pi multiplied the number of turns. That's why we can using this information plug in to the first one. And this is give us so V A we can write the two pi N A times R A equals two pi N B times R B, right? Because omega equals omega equals two pi r and two pi uh, omega equals two pi n two pi n times r is v and we cancel two pi with two pi we can get what is n b so n b equals to r b r a times n a so. We have RA is 10 centimeter. RB is 5 centimeter. Because this is a RA over RB, they have same unit. So normally we convert to meter, but this one, because they have same, they cancel out, we don't need the, even we don't need to convert the unit to meter, which is keep this as long as they have same unit. Multiply and A is 60 revolution per minute. That's what we got. And B is 10 divided 5 equal 2. 2 divided 2 multiply 60 equal 120. Revolution per minute. And also we can see actually the radius is half of radius A. That's why they turn double or faster than 48. This is the first part and later we calculate what is VC. The point C is on the 48 is 4 centimeters from the center. So we use another paper. To calculate the velocity C, velocity a tangential velocity equals omega times r. So we have Vc equals omega because if you label C, everything you label C, Rc. If this is talking Va, you talking Wa, omega A, Ra. Now it's point C. That's why we say. The tangential velocity of point C is omega C times R C. What is omega C? We don't give an omega C, but the point C is at the same pulley with point A. So that's why they have same omega, right? At the same wheel, same pulley, they rotate at the same time. So that's why this one actually equals omega A times R C. The point C is the RC is four centimeters from the center. And this way we can calculate omega A is two pi times N A times R C. And calculate two pi multiply N R N A is 60 revolution per minute. In that situation, we need to convert revolution per minute to radius, which will multiply 2 pi. And the, this is a revolution per minute. We need to convert to per second. So we have 60 revolution per minute divided by 60. Then you got per second, right? Because each minute and now is each second divided 60. The revolution change the radius, we already multiply 2 pi. That's why this is a, the, the 
the unit already becomes red per second and multiply RC this is you need to convert to 0 0.04 meter so then we have we have this one 60 60 cancel out we got 2 pi times 0 0.04 we got 0 0.08 pi meter this is second meter per second so if you want to get exact number which I use 0 0.08 multiply pi we got this one we got 0 0.25 meter per second so this question you can see on same wheel they rotate at the same number of revolution or we say they have same omega that's why omega A equal omega C. But the different will, the, if they connect with bear, so the point, the tangential velocity will be the same, even on the same circle, uh, on the same uh, circle of, different circle of pulley. So, but we need to talk about on the edge on the outside is not talking inside obviously inside the velocity is small right hey this one is presented by wise guys thank you